This is not another story about the fentanyl overdose problem. It's about a potential solution that many believe can be found inside a vending machine. She had the kindest, most gentle soul. When Allison McClanahan was little, she used to give away her allowance to people who were homeless. She was a champion of like, the underdog. Her mother says Allison struggled with fibromyalgia and chronic pain. And in 2021, the 26 year old died from an overdose after a friend gave her what she thought was oxycodone, but turned out to be fentanyl. She loved life. And had she have known that this was a possibility that this one pill could take her life, she would not have taken that pill. I know that. <laughs> Sorry. Genevieve Schofield wants to turn her daughter's tragedy into a lesson. So she contacted lawmakers about a potential way to save lives. You take your substance okay. and you put it in water and then you dip your strip in it. There are test strips that can detect traces of deadly fentanyl, but the state of Washington considers the strips drug paraphernalia, so they're illegal to possess. Only two clinics in the state are allowed to disperse them, Pier Seattle and Pier Kent. We see all demographics of people coming to get these. Pier Kent started offering the strips along with Narcan for overdoses in vending machines for free last year. The program director here says the kits have prevented overdoses, likely saving lives. Allison's law would allow for the distribution of strips across the state. We call it an accidental overdose, right? But truly, no, it's a poisoning. Allison's mother says her daughter still gives her strength. She was a huge agent of change, and um, I just want that to continue. If the bill passes this year, Genevieve pledges to go back to Olympia next year to get another law passed that would require these vending machines and those strips be placed in hospitals, hotels, and schools. In Kent, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.